I'm Deborah Moore and I'm a dental public health registrar, so I'm doing specialist training in dental public health. Xylitol's been used a lot in chewing gums and lots of different sweets and food things for a while. Because it's sweet but it's not a sugar, you know, it doesn't cause caries, but then there's also claims that it prevents caries as well. For that reason, it's been added to various products like wipes or toothpaste and things like that. There's a lot of claims made about xylitol and various consumer products, and I think people are interested as to whether you know, they should buy those ones or not. We looked at all the studies, we looked at wipes, lozenges, we found 10 trials. So we found that there was some evidence of an effect for xylitol preventing more caries when it was added to fluoride toothpaste um, than when it wasn't. We didn't find any other evidence of an effect on caries. There was quite a lot of press interest around the, the review. If you look at the altmetric scores, scores of online interest and blogs and retweets and things like that, the altmetric score I think last time we looked was 140 or something like that and it was, means that it's in the top 5% of all articles published on altmetric. I suppose they were interested in would it change what dentists would recommend for patients. My answer was no, not at this stage, and just to remind them that what we would recommend is fluoride and that we've got really good evidence for that.